Back with another Marvel Legends, Marvel Legends figure review. This time on the Marvel Legends Deadpool 2 with Deadpool 2 figures, Deadpool and Teenage Warhead. Deadpool 2, here's the packaging right here. Here's Deadpool right here. Teenage Warhead inside all the accessories. Here's the nice Deadpool logo and the X crossed out as well. Deadpool right there, Teenage War. The next, then the next Sonic Teenage Warhead right there. Here's the, bar here's the Marvel Legends right there. The side of the box right there, X logo, I'll start right there, looking really nice. Here's a shot of Nenasonic Teenage Warhead, right there. Here's a progress shot of both Nenasonic Teenage Warhead and Deadpool themselves. Here's how they look together, looking really nice. And then here's another progress shot of Deadpool right there, really nice. So yeah guys, let's... Let get these things open. Let's open this box. I, I, I got this off eBay guys, so guys, I put a link in the description below. You guys can pick the stuff you guys want. Put up the links in the description below. You guys want. But yeah.
like all the accessories. I should leave these two guys. And then the, and then the Deadpool figure itself. And then it should be all good. These are also his guns and his. These are also removable or not. Yeah, okay. We have Deadpool and then Netasonic Teenage Warhead. Yeah, the last few guys we get a shot of them both. Pose them both. Get onto the accessories in a second. Let me get a quick product shot of both of them. Oh, sure you get the of the accessories. So yeah, here's a quick product shot of the Sonic Teenage Warhead and Deadpool. So yeah, guys. Yep. Before we take a look at, shoot, actually, actually, let's do that first. First off, we'll take a look at the Nenasonic Teenage Warhead. His shoes right here, guys. Looking really nice. I really like the nice paint detail. Let's zoom in on closely. The nice head sculpt. Nice yellow detail. Nice yellow right there. Nice black. I really like the nice head sculpt. Looking really nice. Her hair looks so good. Nice black on the bell. Nice yellow right there. You can see there's a little bit of paint missing, but I don't mind that. See yellow detail, nice black right here, and this yellow effect right there. Yellow effect right there as well, this yellow right here. Nice black detail on the boots right there, like really nice. So it can turn side to side, so you can move her arms like this, side to side. She can bend, I believe. She can bend her arms like this. Her shoulders move up and down. It's just toe articulation if you want toe articulation like that. She also can bend her thighs on the 60 degrees. But yeah. She also comes with a, accessories. You can take this off if you like. She comes with hands so you can do this. I kind of like this effect. I like her being posed like this. If you want, you can have you pose like this. And then yeah, she comes with her accessories right here. Let's see how these work. Let's see, you can put these in her hand as well. You can put these in her hand if you so desire you want. Accessories on her hands, you see, I guess, and see how they look. Yeah, here's her accessories right there. Looking really nice. Let's fix the accessories a little bit. Maybe you can pose like this if you want, but let me fix these. 
You know, maybe I'm supposed to have them like this, I think. I just did it wrong. Maybe it's supposed to be like this, I think. Here's our accessories right there, looking really nice. Back a little bit more. Yeah, look at her she is right there, looking really nice. Get that product on the back right there. You don't have her like that. But yeah. So this is this is just looks so detailed. The head sweep is just so spot on. But yeah. Let's do some size comparisons. Here she is next to Mystique from X-Men. Here's how they look together. Let me zoom the camera back so you guys can see. Here's Mystique next to the Nine. Here's Mystique from X Men next to Nine Sonic Teenage Warhead from Deadpool 2. Here's how they look together. Looking really nice. Looking really nice and detailed. And let me grab. Uh, let me grab. Let me grab a uh, Domino real quick. Domino. Then the next one, Teenage Warhead. Here's how they look together. Looking really nice. That's how they look together. Here's Magneto from X Men. Next to another Sonic Teenage Warhead. Here's how they look together. Using the camera. Here's how they look together. Looking really nice and detailed. Yep, looking really nice. Here's Cable. Next to another Sonic Teenage Warhead. Here's how they look together. Looking really nice. Here is the Wolverine tank top and exclusive next to Nana Sonic Teenage Warhead. Here's how they look together. Looking really nice. Okay, and then here is when I get another some more extra figures to compare or two. Here is the Professor X. From the Logan movie, next to Nana Sonic Teenage Warhead. Here's how they look together. Looking really nice. Here is the young Professor X. Next to Nana Sonic Teenage Warhead. Here's how they look together, looking really nice. Not bad. And then here is the Wolverine from X Men Origins Wolverine. Here's the jacket. Here's how they look together. Really nice. And here is, finally, here is the Lo Lo Logan Wolverine, Logan from the Lo Logan, from the Logan movie. He lose him so you guys can see. And here's how he live, they look together. Pose him a little bit so you guys can see. Pose him up a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. Here's how they look together next to his Logan next to the next Sonic Teenage Warhead. Here's how they look together. Looking really nice. You tell him, yep.
But yeah, guys, this figure is just so incredible. I love this figure. This Nenis Hunting's work is just so good. Like, like, like I said, the nice detail, the nice yellow they used right there. And, and the nice effects they used for this figure is just so, so good. I like the nice effects they use. It's so detailed and so, so good. And her hair, nice hair on the detail, nice hair in the back right there as well. Nice yellow right there. Nice next one suit as well. Nice paint detail right there. It's such, such a nice painted detail figure. And like even on that nice earring right there, like a nice detail. But yeah, this is such a nice detailed figure. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys, I mean, uh, I hope you, uh, connect, connect, uh, next, I'm gonna do Deadpool now? Yep. Next we're gonna do Deadpool, so yeah. Next we're gonna do Deadpool now. Here's Deadpool right here, looking really nice. Let's take a look at him now. Here's Deadpool right there, let's take a look at him now. Really nice painting detail. I really like this Deadpool figure. The nice strap right there, nice black right there, and that silver details, and that, I mean, like, you know, on the nice pockets right there. Here's some guns right there. You have removal, but you have to be kind of careful. Obviously, I'm not going to remove because I don't want to whisper in the figure, but. Really nice detail right there. Nice head sculpt. Do you know on the head sculpt? Looking really nice. His hands in the back right there, that's where the swords go. Really nice detail on this figure. Nice strap, looks like really detail. The nice Deadpool logo on the, the belt right there. He's been on closely. You guys can see. And on the, yeah, this is such a nice detail figure. Nice black and all. Nice, I like the nice, all the nice detail on this figure. It's just so, so good. Yeah, let's. And also, his accessories. You all comes with all the accessories. Comes with these uh, swords. All bunch of different kind of hands. Comes with, comes with, with, with this unicorn. That you can hold this unicorn. Comes with this unicorn as well. With all kinds of different hands. Comes with these two guns. Also comes with, comes with this nice knife, detailed knife. This looks really nice, detailed. Also, if you want, you can have replace his hand, other hand, with. Get this out, okay. You can have him displayed like this if you like. Have his hands like this. You want him to have it be like that. You can have him displayed like that. That, that looks. That's not, that, that's. That's an option if you like. Yeah, that's an option. Yep. I'm also gonna take these off and display them with the gun hands. I don't have them display with the gun and the sword hands. I have them display with these hands. If you notice the difference on the, the fur, in the, in, the, in the second move he has these silver dudes on the on the first move he has his hands are blocked like this. So that's, the, that's the difference you notice. But yeah, this figure is just so nice detail, I and mean, I really like the look of all this nice detail right here, like even on the head sculpt. You guys can see really nice sculpted detail. This is so so good. I like the nice detail used on the arm, it's so screen accurate. You guys want, you also can store his weapons, you can store this knife in here if you like. You can hold it if you want, but I prefer him holding it, storing it right there. You can, uh, see so if I can get this in his hand, you can have him hold these if you desire, you want. Get this in his hand. Let me get this in his hand properly. Let's see if I can get this in his hand. Okay, 
Okay, this hand is a little stuck. Let me get this in the position. Okay, his hands like that. Okay. Yeah, and this is a really nice detail of the figure. You can hold two guns and have him hold his guns as well. Okay, let me get this. See if we can get this in his hand. Pose in his hands. These guns posed in his hands. Okay. Me. Okay, let me guess if I can get this the finger tabbed in there. See, okay, come perfect. Put it in there, okay. Yeah, here's his guns right there. I see him holding his guns. Let me. There's a power of him, him holding his guns. Which we just don't look bad at all. They look really nice. There's some back. See these into the camera. But yeah, these these look super. These look at least seem accurate. Yep. Really nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you also want, you also can have his swords in the back, if you want. Put these in the back right here. Put these back right here. But yeah. There's his sword in the back. You all you want. Yeah, that's a uh, send yep. Okay, really nice. He also with his unicorn as I said. His dove right there looking really nice. Looking really nice. I also prefer him holding his swords as well. Let me take these out of his hands. Take these out. Oh, you have, to, you have to get his other. Um, you have to get his other hands and take off those and put his other ones so you can have pulled his his blades, swords per se. Take these off. Get the other hand, so you can get the other hand, I mean. Here we go. And yeah, get those in his hand, okay. And now he can hold his swords. His hands. How they can be stored in his hands now. He throws up. She wanted to have him displayed in his hand. I like this look definitely because I like his display display with the swords. Yeah, here's that look. You can do that look if you like. Back him up so the camera can. Uh, so, yeah, here's Deb right there. Now let's do some size comparisons. Here's Deadpool next to X Men Origins Wolverine. That's how they look together. 
got the camera up a bit. That's how they look together. Looking really nice. There's Denville next to Mystique. Is this in her? She's in display. Is this in her? Here's Denville next to Mystique. That's how they look together. Looking really nice. And here is Deadpool next to Domino. That's how they look together. Looking really nice. And here is Deadpool next to Cable. Cable in here. That's how they look together. We finally have all my, uh, all my, uh, Deadpool figures from Deadpool 2. We have all the Deadpool figures from Deadpool 2. Here's all the, here's all, here's all, all of them together, like there. Okay, really nice. These guys out of here now, and then let's do a few more comparisons. Deadpool. Here is Deadpool next to Magneto. Magneto. Here's how they look together. And then here is Young Professor X. Next to Deadpool, here's how they look together. Looking really nice. And then here is the Wolverine with the tank top. Here's how they look together. Looking really nice. Really nice, yep. And here is the old Professor X from the Logan movie next to Deadpool. That's how they look together. Really nice. And finally, here is. Thank you. Here is Logan, the Logan movie next to Deadpool. Here's how they look together. Looking really nice. Really nice, yep. I think they made a pretty good and decent pose as well. If I really want to. I want to pose them like this, I can. Some decent, really decent poses. Right there. But yeah, this figure is so detailed. And yeah. Of these two, but yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. This is my, my Marvel Legends Deadpool 2 pack with Deadpool and Nenesa Nightingale's Warhead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, and comment next for more, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And hey, guys, come next for more, guys. See you guys. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come next for more. See you guys. Bye.